the canaris current flowing southwards eventually merges with the north equatorial current and it completes the clockwise circuit of the north atlantic ocean hi everyone today we'll talk about circulation of atlantic ocean to be specific the ocean currents in the atlantic ocean our discussion will be specific to that only we shall begin with the north and south equatorial current at the equator the steady trade winds constantly drift two streams of water from east to west at the shoulder of northeast brazil the protruding landmass splits the south equatorial current into cyane current which flows along the guiana coast and the brazilian current which flows southwards along the east coast of brazil In the North Atlantic Ocean the Cyane current is joined and reinforced by the North Equatorial current and heads north westwards as a large mass of equatorial water into the Caribbean Sea. Part of the current enters the Gulf of Mexico and emerges from the Florida Strait between Florida and Cuba as the Florida current. The rest of the equatorial water flows northwards east of the Antilles to join the Gulf Stream of the southeastern USA. The Gulf Stream drift is one of the strongest ocean currents that is thirty-five to hundred miles wide, two thousand feet deep, and with a velocity of three miles an hour. The Gulf Stream hugs the coast of America as far as Cape Hatteras, that is around latitude thirty-five degree north. where it is deflected eastwards under the combined influence of westerlies and the rotation of earth gulf stream then reaches europe as the north atlantic drift thereby north atlantic drift also known as nad flowing at 10 miles per day carries the warm equatorial water for over 1000 miles to the coast of europe from the north atlantic it fans out in three directions eastwards to britain northwards to the arctic and southwards along the iberian coast as the cool canaris current oceanographic researches show that almost 2 thirds of the water brought by the gulf stream to the arctic region is returned annually to the tropical latitude by dense cold polar water that creeps southwards to the ocean depth The Canaris current flowing southwards eventually merges with the North Equatorial current and it completes the clockwise circuit of the North Atlantic Ocean. So this sums up our discussion on North Atlantic Ocean circulation. In the next video we'll talk about South Atlantic Ocean circulation. To watch more such content do not forget to like, share, subscribe and comment. Thank you.